Welcome back to whatever I have called this park build. We are doing some science. So in order to do science, here's what we want to do. We are going to pick a dig site. We're going to pick, say, this Struthio Minus dig site right here. 40k, one logistics. We're going to send a dig team out. We're going to say go, and we're going to see what they bring us. And then we're going to reload the save. We're going to slap an efficiency upgrade uh, for dig yield, and then see what they bring us instead. And actually put some numbers to this goddamn upgrade for once. And maybe we'll repeat this a few times with different dig sites, you know, in order to have actual statistics. Because scientifically speaking, uh, one data point is nothing. <laughs> you can't draw any kind of conclusions from that. Um, yeah, we'll try to figure out if the yield looks better, if the yield is also consistent, maybe. So there's the fossils. We got an amphibian and a conifer. Conifer's 40k, amphibian's 130k. I think we've got uh, a two and a three. Okay. And so this dig site is now completed this was df dino dino formation a great so then we just do uh one of these and we do a one of these and we do a one of these maybe we should repeat that yeah let's repeat that as well at least get two instances of doing the dig here in this first dig site to see if it's completely the same or if there is just some inherent inherent variance. You've proven yourself to be a valuable asset. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your interjection. Very randomly. Probably it was the last bit left over from the contract or whatever. And uh he just that dialogue was saved for after the save state. Funny. I think they're in a different order, but it's the same stuff. So I think we're seeing the full yield for the entire dig site. And then the orders are probably shuffled around. So there's probably RNG on any given piece you get from the dig site, but the roster is one singular unit um, at that dig site. Like you'll, you'll, you'll always get everything eventually i think that's my that's my expectation uh we could also test this with a dig site that takes more than one trip that that would be an interesting data point to collect especially with dig yield um maybe the way the table works is it's like here's your fossils here's your bonus fossils and here's your dig yield bonuses and it goes from there there's an art to getting other people to get things done some call that leadership you have the quality. He said a different voice line. How about that? The line changes at random. Proves how utterly fucking pointless it is, huh? Alright. Let's try it again. So the net profit before was 170 on the 40k investment plus time. We'll see if we get a better result here. We better for the research investment? So that's identical. So that sucks. Uh, we'll try it again. Just to collect one additional data point. Um, and then I think I'll reload to not have the upgrade installed. And we'll check maybe a more substantial dig site. Certainly looking like um, this upgrade hey. might be a trap. And a paycheck too. What does it actually read? Fossil yield plus 50%. Return fossils up to 50%. Do we think this is just your capacity that the dig team is able to haul back is increased? Because then if a dig site only has a few fossils, it won't do anything anyway. You'll you'll always get the full list if you're emptying it out in a single trip. It's only a dig site that takes multiple excursions that this would matter on. I 
bet you that's how it works. Interesting. Let's do, let's click one more data point here. We'll run this again. Oops. Just to be sure it's not a chance at a bonus fossil or something. But yeah, that, um, I think, I think the thing with dig yield is I've always just assumed it worked like the upgrade from the first game where it gives you more valuable fossils. And my, my guess here is it doesn't do that. It's just making it more efficient, which is highly debatable because the, because of the way things are delivered in chunks, right? Hmm. This is going to be interesting actually on a bigger dig site. Yeah, same stuff. Okay. Uh, so where else could we check? We could try like Dynanicus Moros. That's a pretty, pretty uh, hefty dig site, right? That's the only place Moros comes from. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Running Dynanicus Moros. We're just going to use the guy here because we're not keeping the save. We're reloading this. And we'll see what we get there. That'll take four minutes to do this experiment, though. Okay, this is our haul. So, we've got... First off, compet number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 fossils. We've got uh, one amphibian. And we've got one conifer. Which is interestingly the same stuff we got previously. Um, oh no, oh no, we didn't clear these out. Ha ha, that would be why those were the same. We got six fossils. Uh, morose two, morose three. Morose four, and then Dynanicus two, three, four. Right? Yeah. So if we go back, it's not completed. We're just out of money. Great. And then we do uh, one of these, reload, send it back out uh, again and see what we get without the upgrade. So without the upgrade, we get five, apparently. This time, all morose and then a fish. Okay. So if we go back out, run this again, let's see if we find the rest of the roster, I suppose. It just doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, continuing our experiment, we got a platinum, uh, but I sold it because I, I'm stupid. And we got four other fossils. So we're seeing consistently five fossils here, maybe. Six with the upgrade. So the upgrade seems to be simply one additional fossil. So then the argument is, how often is this worth it? If you reduce the cost by 25%, and it would have been completed in one anyway, then you're good. Cheaper is obviously better. If it's six, yield is the difference between doing two digs and one. So yield is better. But if it's seven, yield's worse. So the only way you can actually evaluate if yield is worth it is to know the haul from every individual dig site to know whether or not it matters. So I think in practice, you probably just want to use cheaper. Um, the other question is where is cheaper in the research tree? Yield is relatively cheap to install and it is on efficiency upgrades, which is a stepping stone on the path to basically all other upgrades anyway. 
Um, so there's that. Yeah, so yield is probably worth the investment. Yeah, I kind of just zoned out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, cheaper cheaper is actually buried way over here. So I'm not. I feel like that's deep enough in the tree that by the time you can get cheaper expeditions, is it even worth it? It might be. At least the math on cheaper expeditions is easy to do. Okay, well, anyway, that was a lovely little experiment. Uh, so we've learned that dig yield is very marginal, um, but probably probably you just say fuck it and, and load it up anyway because you just wouldn't have an upgrade otherwise. Um, all right, great. That's the lovely science. So we are going to dig up the Struthy dig site because we know that that one is profitable. Um, I have put yield in here. We're just going to use yield for now. Um, maybe we'll, maybe especially with these like early game dig sites that are profitable, maybe we'll keep an eye on the, the count of fossils that are brought in with each dig and actually try and run the numbers to see if like, if you're doing fossil digs in the early game for profit, is it worth waiting for yield or not? Because it 400K for the research investment in the early game is pretty substantial. And that's not something you want to just do. Um, I think when this comes in here, we'll just sell the the few things and then do path research right away. And then go out and look for more expeditions. Or get a fossils held up in customs. Uh, gain a million dollars, lose the fossils. Fucking, you got it, bud. Absolutely. Um, do we just redo the dig then? Yeah. So we turned 40K into a million dollars. Fantastic. Um, we take a knock to ticket prices, but who cares? It's irrelevant. Uh, so let's go do paths then with our newfound windfall. Paths on you, and then you'll need a rest for the genetic specialist. I'm pretty sure there's nothing relevant they can do. So yeah, we just sit. All right, we sold off our stuff. Pads are upgraded. Uh, let's keep pushing Struthy here for profit. We actually do need Struthy. Not, it's not gonna be in the park permanently, but the next dinosaur we're adding is Styracosaurus. And unfortunately, Styracosaurus is two layers deep. So the unlock condition I was paying attention to was this 20 herbivore requirement for Styracosaurus, which we meet. But the previous tier also has to be researched and requires three species. Um, so we'll put in Styrac and we'll put in whatever else is cheap and easy to get. Um, Mudabura, maybe, I don't know, something. So we'll wait, uh, until we've got, we have to, we can't wait. We have to complete the into full genome to release them. Um, so we need to wait for that. That's the words I'm trying to say. Uh, objective. Don't let me down. The exchange literally doesn't exist in challenge mode. This is this is silly. Uh, this is literally the only one that's even plausible. Cross species adaption. Yeah, I'm not gonna hire a scientist just to complete that. We'll ignore that contract till next month. Get a new one. This is the haul from the other Struthy dig site. So this one was six. So that was dig yield kicking in and it's completed. So we're one for one currently. Um, so one and one on early game dig sites. Does that complete Struthy? Yes. So that in that case, completing the Struthiomimus genome, dig yield is better than um, cost reduction. Where to next? Um, Notosaurus 54 is pretty cheap. 48 in a pseudo. Yeah, let's do a pseudo, I think, actually. That's a that's a starter. 
super cheap. It's also a single dig site for the full genome. So that's a good one to like test uh, the upgrade on. Yeah, so it's not simply like five and six. Because the Nasuto dig site brought in 11. So I suppose the thing to do is to see what this dig site brings in. Then without the upgrade, is it completed in one go? No, it's not. Okay, well, let's let's take note of this as well and then try it without the upgrade. Nine fossils this time. Three cyanodonts. So we went from nine to 11 and five to six, which looks roughly like a 20% bonus to yield, I guess. With some sort of rounding. So the next question is, how many fossils are actually at this dig site? Let's find out. So we have nine total Nasutoceratops fossils, three cynodonts, and the buried treasure is always in the dig site. So, yeah, nine, so 13 fossils, which means the upgrade is irrelevant for this particular one. Yep, it's completed. All right, well, I mean, we learned. Okay, Struthies are on the way. A uh, nice free new contract for amenities to replace the one that we could not finish. And fossils are just about due as well. Was that shopping? Like new buildings, restaurants, shops, pit stops, and I don't mean like tiny race cars. Tw 20, okay, stop shifting. 28, 3, 6, 24. Like extra shelves is so much worse. It's weird. It's weirdly bad. Well, anyway. Here's a bit of advice based on my early Yeah, there's the last sign of dot from the main save. Them and, what they want. I'm getting the same and then Nasuda's done. Uh, our geneticist is currently resting, so she cannot perform this task. He? She? I think it was a lady. Uh, anything else under 100k that we want to clear out? Dilo. Actually, we need to do Dilo. We might as well do Dilo. Spoiler, we're going to have Dylos in the park eventually. That's probably going to be like the third species we put in, to be honest. So um, that's fine. It's true, these are done. Give me a docile one. Why not? A single Struthy. Get that out. And then we'll do a single Nasuto and get that out. Then we can just sell them both and that'll unlock the Toro. Dilo Hall is 12 fossils. So the base hall is probably 10. We had nine go to 11, so it's probably 10 to 12 with the, the yield upgrade. Um, oh, is that finished? I think so, right? It's Kayenta, isn't it? Yeah. So in that case, if, if the base hall is only 10, yield finishes in one instead of two. So it looks like... It's not the worst thing in the early game. Although, um, so far, we've saved two trips, which is like less than 100k, and the research is 400k, and the upgrade itself is 75. So we're still like way behind the curve on it. Yeah, I think you just want to do the digs. If you're doing these early game herbivores for money, don't bother with yield. I think we've, I think we've seen enough to say that the 400k is just not worth it. And we know the um, viability of doing this drops off pretty quickly too, right? From previous park builds. So we can do we can do Notosaurus for profit. We can do Kentro, um, probably for profit. Amarga's one ninety. Amarga's a little expensive. 
Oh wait, no, that's a Marga. What was I looking at? Herrera. Marga, Kentra needs to be researched. Ceratosaurus is cheap enough too. Yeah, I mean, we'll keep paying attention to which ones of these finish. It's possible it'll end up saving you the tiniest bit of money, but you lose time. See, that's the thing, right? Even if it's better on paper, you lose you lose time doing it. We have three million dollars. When did that happen? Anyway, you lose time doing it, and you lose opportunity cost because instead of you just plowing straight ahead with digs, you have to save up four hundred k to do the research and then do the digs and the digs you can just start immediately i'm pretty convinced i'm pretty convinced we skip yield in the early game there's no reason to rush it if it worked like the first game one it'd be more logical to do it um but it doesn't okay struthiomimus we're gonna leave in the hatchery here till the other uh set is completed so nasudo give me one of these you 18 seconds just hatch a single one that oh did i not send a team back out i never sent out a replacement team whoopsies some dilo Expedition for Mudamburra. I don't care. Let's just do it. Keep bringing in the money. Oh, yeah, we got three mil because of the coins. Also, also, um, you should always do Nasudoceratops. If the coins are guaranteed, the buried treasure, you should always do Nasudoceratops. That makes it so good like always do struthi and nasudo as your first two species struthi does struthi does all the population contracts for essentially free and nasudo ceratops gets you buried treasure like there's no debate so we need these guys to be released just to unlock toro And then we can get rid of them. I think we just take that. Okay, that's done. Uh, then we need our other person back here. There's that. You get me Styracosaurus. Get these lonely guys out of here. Oh, the expedition team is... I have never seen this. <laughs> they're, they're returning with what 17 fossils from australia what the fuck also this is uh incredibly inconvenient because now we have to process another batch of fossils so this is another case where dig yield has actually fucked us over hmm interesting that Okay, so we have to get these going. This has to be you. Logistics person can't do anything till this is completed. So we should just find a new project for him to do. Um, how about tours? Seems fine. Is it? Tours are not immediately useful. Staff two, that might be more immediately useful. Let's do that. Um, and this is specialist facility, which will actually be all right. Even though we only have the one building, I think specialist facility is still worth it because we got triple specialists. Um, so I think we go with that. That certainly is a fucking haul. Um, that's a lot of angiosperms. Actually, 
how much money does this this ends up being like probably comparable to the uh the coins right all those individual little fossils versus the one very valuable set of coins because that was uh jesus quite the haul yeah now everybody needs a nap fine go rest go rest okay so uh dilos are second species not the rachosaurus like originally planned now here's the thing novel dilophosauruses that's what we're doing we're doing novel dilos um Eh, appetite is actually not that big of a deal on a carnivore, I don't think. Because, like, uh, they have a very, very flat progression in terms of food needs because it's just feeder, two feeder. It's not like the, the progressive, you know, slightly more trees continuously that you get with the other ones. So this is just a five. This should be a, yeah, four clutch on the variant. Okay. Apparently, if you do any more than four, the game crashes. So there's like a, an optional patch to hard make it four. Don't know why that's optional. It's legitimately strange to me that it's it's an optional patch. But I guess, hey, if people want to crash the game, let them crash the game, right? Uh, the welfare specialist can work on vaccines in the meantime. I'm sure these diseases will crop up. Or did Biosyn Map not have diseases too? Was that a thing with Biosyn Map? Because it doesn't have weather. Did it not have diseases? Is it is it that cheap? God, you know, I would do every difficult challenge we could do on the Biosyn Map because I love it. Except that the things that make the game the most difficult are bugged and just don't function. And that's insane. I should try and like figure out if I can make it work if i can mod that i don't know I, I have no idea at least off the top of my head where we'd have to look though i think it's appropriate for a halloween park build that we use the uh let's say the more exotic dilophosaurs the novel ones because the dilophosaur scene in the novel is much more horrific than it is uh in the film So I think it'll be uh, extremely appropriate to use them here. So you do that. You, sickly large appetite, that's fine. I think I want all four anyway. One million smackers worth of dilos. I wonder if their stats are unchanged or what. Okay, so the Mudabura dig was one and done with dig yield. If it was 20%, it was probably base 14 plus 3 to 17. I think that makes sense. So that would again be 20% rounded up. We won't know for sure without checking um, the dig site. And honestly, I'm convinced enough that's how it's working that I'm not going to check every dig site. Um, and go back, but yeah, that would be my guess. I'm kind of tempted to try another difficult challenge mode after some of these innovations we've made, but like the, the 300% appeal just sucks. We could try and like speed run, um, like a regular challenge mode. See how, how fast we can actually do it with some of the new tricks. Uh, Dilos are goats, right? Pretty sure. We'll see. Uh, do we have enough stuff to process? Yes, because we are processing. My bad. <laughs> Museum request, uh, lose fossils or take the hit. Fuck him. Fuck him. These are my fossils. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. 
So the Serato dig was not very good. It is complete. But that was a low enough haul that I could believe that dig yield didn't matter. All right, look at that beast. Lovely. It does come with other skins, but this is the one that, at least in my memory, is closest to the description of the novel. Like, my memory's description of the dinosaur. Like, green into yellow with red crests, and like, spotted. Uh, okay, you're missing just some forest. How about a bit of forest in the back? That always causes, makes it look nice not seeing the pen in the back there. Apparently this is the Cryolophosaurus rig. I don't know if I said that. I think I can see it. Obviously the voiceover has not caught up with the mod. <laughs> Alright. Fossils. Chordates. And then... Yeah, just the last bit of Ceratosaurus. Um, again, probably dig yield didn't matter. Uh, let's do not profit stuff. Let's work on Styracosaurus. But then for research, uh, any other vaccines? No, those are done. For the geneticist... We're not in a position to do these, but we do have points. Okay, so let's pop over here. If we do specialist facility, we need nine logistics. We can put three folks up on that. Five, six, seven. So we'd have to commit two points. So we'd commit one here and one here. That would get us the nine. This would become a seven and then an eight by using the point. We would not reach nine genetics. The other consideration is if we pop back over here, these are two logistics, two and nine. So probably we should put the point into her for logistics actually, and not into the welfare person, and then just push for another tier of uh, staff upgrades maybe which is only a nine. We can do that. Yeah, maybe get the Styracos out first. Uh, with the addition of the Dialos, we need more amenities, we need more bathrooms, we need more accommodation. Okay, well. Uh, we did this bathroom over here. How about a small hotel over here by the Dialos? I guess we'll put them on this path for now. I think I'm probably going to redesign more of the front part of the park. Oops. Um, when we have large amenities. Because then we can put things further apart and it'll be a bit better. And we do need yellow now. That works. So the colors transferred over, but we've done banners now for some reason. Over lights. Wait, what were the lights? There it is. Medium Jurassic World should be large Jurassic Park. Style concrete park. There we go. Yeah, so it's like pseudo-random, but some categories seem to stay set. It's very weird. Um, just just an odd, 
odd duck there. Okay, uh, what came in? Fossils? Yeah, let's push Styraco, and then we'll do the staff upgrades. So, not finished there. There should be a second dig site, though, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, that one, which is very populated. Okay, well, we'll, we'll pop in there. Actually, maybe with the amount of fossils we might have to dig up here to get all the Styrac, it makes sense to push for the upgrade. Um... Oh no, we have we have extraction capacity. It's on this tier. My bad. Also, yeah, we should do that. Um, that's worth a million bucks for the sake of efficiency. We could have done storage there too, technically. Okay. Okay. Seems good. So, of course, normally we'd want to do growing populations, but Scientist training is kind of appealing here since we intend to do this anyway. Maybe this changes the plan then. We switch over to doing this. Yeah, one point of genetics. I think we will. So we need to finish this fossil set, which is blocking the fossils from coming back. And then unfortunately she has to rest. I could just put the point of genetics into her. Six. Then we would have to put one into the welfare guy, but that's probably fine too. You know what? I think we will do that. Yeah. I mean, it's not time sensitive. I think we can wait. I think we can actually do this the way I originally planned because it's not time sensitive. We just, we don't have to do it right now. Nice platinum. So yeah, you rest. Also, it could actually be good to put a point of genetics into this welfare specialist so he can do fossils for us. Oh, I could do that right now. Do we think that's worth it? Oh, that works. Wait, that finishes the contract. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. Because it it's some total. Yeah, that, that we get to do this. Uh, Sertopsy and fossils, whatever else is here, I don't care. Okay, we're the logistics specialist, so I'm going to keep him back. Then when these two are done, we can do... Well, now I don't need to do staff. <laughs> No, let's just do it. Let's just do it. I keep deliberating, flipping back and forth, just knock it out. We got one of these modded Dylos going in for a kill here. Did he, did he whiff? Did he kill it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Modded animation sets sometimes can be a little, a little janky. Uh, with changes to the way the hitboxes on the dinos work, sometimes you can't see uh the interactions in the same way you would on the base species is there a goat underneath them in there i can't even tell that was a weird one it's fine you don't usually see those animations anyway there's one drinking missed that too looking for food is there a carcass over here because i couldn't even see where the goat ended up oh yeah it's in there somewhere it is just in the weeds all right fair enough uh everybody's back from their various jobs so as we said oh and income tax damn we could have maybe dodged that a little uh being worse at our jobs that we are um so We do that. 
we do no we do specialist first but then we can do staff upgrades with just two because that gets another point in the logistics guy that's efficient it's better that way uh, i did get the full set of amenities put in now Opportunity that's just being offered. pick the one with no effort well to check it out all right uh scientists you guys both need to rest and for the geneticist we do not have enough for your time to be worth it so great efficient thing to do here is to do a styrac dig before we do the second uh skill research so we're gonna do that Hopefully this is where it is. We're one fossil off, right? Like 97%. And the reason we want to do that is because we have now the upgrade in, which means we get nine on these two. And our uh, third guy, Duckley, Dukely, can do uh, fossil processing while the other two do the research. That's the, the optimal way to do it. And then we can do the Styrac immediately afterwards. Or we could actually, I mean, listen, we keep slipping on scheduling here, but I think it makes sense to also synthesize the Styrac first because then he can do the hatch. So I guess we do also that. We have to do fossils. No, we just, we'll do, we'll do the logistics research while we do the fossil extraction. That makes sense. I was right the first time. Did we get it? Yes. 7%. And some fish. Please, please get... Please, please move. Please, please be gone. <laughs> God damn it. There's a reason it shrinks down. Uh, anyway. I clicked on that because we did a contract for a amenity. And I wanted to make sure I actually did it. Because I, I couldn't remember after doing it. Nothing else happened in the meantime. I just forgot the thing I had just done. All right. So there's both of those tasks completed. This is three minutes. This is two minutes. So actually, yeah, that's pretty... Pretty good one to thing to do. Okay. Styracosaurus. Looks like we're doing Svalbard, Rana, Strictly. That's the plan. You live forever and you get less of a tummy ache. Save and exit. Uh, do these guys have social? Nice, they do. 25. The seven. I don't. Not sure seven's worth it. Let's do this. A six and no tummy ache. Just uh, not as much lifespan. That's fine. Uh, we can do... Uh, what's the unlock condition for UOPLO? It's like two stars, right? We're getting close. That might be the thing to do is the Uoplocephalus next. In which case, we could do a dig for something in the future. Let's go back to this dig site. We need Trodon for this park eventually. So we'll just do that in the meantime. That leaves the welfare specialist who will do the hatch. But then the geneticist can do the fossils when this person's back. We'll probably tunnel Styrax to get the star rating we need here. Maybe. I'm going to skip the aggressive. Uh, we're going to put tours in eventually, and that will be kind of a pain in the ass. No social. One million dollars worth of Styracosaurus. I'll do a second clutch. I'd like to get the social. We'll try. We can also do uh, hatchery upgrades. We should do that, actually, before we do anything else. Let's look at that. That is here. That is 400k and only 5 logistics. I forgot that was that cheap. We should have done that before we did this. Oh, well. Um, one minute, one minute. So we'll do that after this batch. Are these six clutch size? 
Yeah, viable six batch size six. So we rolled two perfect clutches, coincidentally, but we got no social. That's insane. Do I really want 10 Styracos with no social? Oh, God. Do I just throw the second batch away? I think I just throw the second batch away. We could just wait. Yeah, let's just hatch this group right now. And then we'll get the, at some point, we'll get the traits researched. And then we can actually engineer a better alpha. There's our Halloween Styracosaurus. I think it's a good Halloween look. Um, so fossils, we got one one lone piece of Trodon. So much for dig yield. Um, wow. All right, we do this next. Uh. There should be no reason to do this because we got all the regular fossil or all the sellable fossils out. This is probably like one Taurosaurus bone or something. We don't want to do that. So yeah, nothing to do there. Uh, two points in genetics. Although this duo can do a gene. So I think we just do that. Tolerant, social. Oh, social's 12, right? Should we just do that? I think we should just do that. So this would be eight. And then we could put one point into him. Starting to worry about investing too many points into not welfare on the welfare specialist, though. Hello? Let me click. Um... Yeah, so the next one here is 16. That pretty much just automatically requires another logistics specialist. If we stay like this. We could try to find a cheaper research that's not 800k. 792. 264. Okay, so Crosby. Yeah. Caps up to three, though. That sucks. Hold on. Let's just do this. That's probably worth it. We get the money rebate. Styracos, how you guys doing? Missing ground fiber. You're missing forest. You're missing water. You do not play well with the Dracorexes, actually. Are new animals you can create. New species.
Oh, he's already got more than enough fiber. Perfect. The ominous dinosaur ridden forest. Diversity benefits everyone. Except it's full of herbivores, so it's not that ominous. And yes, even the dinosaurs. Okay, so this pen uh, probably will need a little bit of adjustment at some point. Probably just needs expansion. Which we can definitely do. I mean, this is not even like the final layout with these like square parks or square pens. We're going to build bigger, more expansive things spreading out into the square, of course. Um, just this is the early game, you know, compact version of our park. Anyway, um, let's, yeah, rest you. So next time we can set up alphas for the Styracos and Dracorexes and even the Dilos if we want. I guess it's only social. How do we get humble? Let's wait till we have both. Humble is six species. Yeah, you know what? We'll wait until we have six species due to the alphas. So for now, we'll just keep pushing Trodon, I guess, till we hit uh, two stars. I think that's fine. And then for research, maybe fences? I don't know if there's any point in putting logistics into that guy, but maybe actually because like I don't think it's worth doing it for like one research thing. Let's just let's just send them out. Okay. Stop it. I have like a great profit margin. I just spent all my money. Stop trying to give me five million bucks. Just stop. <laughs> 